Hello. In this tutorial, we are going to show you how to get started with the MSP432P401R Launchpad in Energia. This launchpad is an excellent general purpose development board with solid capabilities for your projects. The MSP432P401R microcontroller has a low power, high performance ARM Cortex M4F core, good memory performance, and runs at a clock speed of 48 MHz. The MSP432 Launchpad also features TI's Energy Trace Plus technology, a code analysis tool that measures and displays the application's energy profile and helps to optimize it for ultra-low power consumption. For this example, all we'll need is the MSP432 P401R Launchpad. Now let's get started. First, plug your Launchpad into your computer over USB. For our hardware setup, we will want to check on a few things. You can refer to the MSP432P401R hardware guide on the Energia website for the most complete details on hardware setup. The first thing you want to make sure is the jumpers match the factory default positions. Wrong jumper placement can cause unexpected results. You also want to make sure the board is receiving power over the USB cable. This is indicated by the green power indicator LED on the left side of the launch pad. Now we are ready to move on to software. Make sure you've downloaded and installed the drivers so your computer can communicate with the Launchpad over USB. You can find the drivers and instructions for your operating system on the Energia MSP432P401R hardware guide. In some cases, drivers are not required. Next, let's open up Energia. Make sure we select our board and COM port by going to Tools, Board, MSP432P401R, 48 MHz. Next, go to Tools and Serial Port. Here you will notice there are two serial port options related to your launch pad. One is the MSP application UART and the other is the MSP debug interface. Select the COM port for the UART interface so that we can read the data from the launch pad later on. Go ahead and run a blink example to ensure the hardware is functioning properly. We will import an existing code example by going to File, Examples, Basic, and Blink. Click the download button and make sure your red LED is blinking. Energia may say that you need to update your programmer. You can update your programmer by going to Tools, Update Programmer. After a successful update, click the download button again. If the LED is successfully blinking, your hardware is correctly set up and you are ready to move on to your project. If you run into trouble, go back carefully through the setup instructions to resolve the issue. Now let's try out the push button on our launch pad. We will import an existing code example by going to File, Examples, basic, and digital read serial. This is a good example because it teaches us how to use the onboard push button, how to use the Energia pin maps to identify pin locations, and how to use the serial monitor in Energia. The first thing we want to do is change the push button variable to the correct pin for our launch pad. We can find this information by going to the pin map of our launch pad on the Energia website. We see that the bottom left button is called push one. We can use this alias or we can also call the pin number directly using P1 underscore 1. Note even though the pins have a period separator on the board silk screen and in the data sheet, in Energia we use the underscore for the variables because the period character is reserved for special functions in C. If we go back to our sketch and the setup function, we can start our serial communication with serial.begin. In this function, we indicate the baud rate that we want our communication to have. Make sure this baud rate matches the baud rate of your serial monitor, otherwise you will not receive the data properly. We also want to use pin mode to set our push button as input pull up. In the loop function, we use digital read to get the state of the push button, then we print that over serial. And that's it. Make sure we change the pin for push button, press and verify the download button, and then open up the serial monitor by clicking the magnifying glass in the upper right corner of Energia. The serial monitor will display data that is sent over the USB cable from your launch pad to your computer. This is excellent for debugging what is happening in your code. Again, make sure your baud rate in the serial monitor matches what is in your sketch so you can properly receive data. If you still don't see any data, make sure you select the COM port for UART. You can verify the COM port in your computer's device manager. We see a stream of data that indicates the state of the push button. When we press the button, it should change the value between 1 and 0. Now you are ready to move on to the Energia tutorials or begin working on your next project. Refer to the Energia website for documentation and project ideas. Good luck.